Hello everybody, it's Marigold. I am back in the kitchen and as usual, I am having a few drinks uh, drinks with Maz and today um, I'm making you a cocktail. Now, it's a bit of a twist on a cocktail. So you'll probably know Moscow Mule, which is vodka and ginger ale. Um, and then I found a recipe for a gin mule and it called for um, gin and ginger beer. Now, I can't stand ginger beer. <laughs> so I've actually altered the recipe ever so slightly um, and I'm gonna use ginger ale because I really love ginger ale. It's, it's so nice. Um, and I think the thing I like about this the most is it's, it's sweet and savoury all at the same time, but really, really tasty as well. So it's, it's a gin mule, but we've made a little change. So I'm gonna call it a gin donkey. So I'm going to show you how to make it, but first of all, you need to go and have a look at the ingredients. Okay, so all you're going to need is a good gin. I'm opting for Tanqueray because, you know, I love Tanqueray. We've got 25 mils of lemon juice, 20 mils of golden syrup mixed with water, root ginger, mint leaves and ginger ale. I love ginger ale. On a long journey, it's good for travel sickness. Lovely stuff. Right, now let's get going. So, you want to get your Boston shaker, your, uh, your small one, isn't it? Your small one, honestly. I was using that other one for long enough, so I'm learning, I'm learning. Um, right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go large, of course we are. And you want a double shot of your favorite gin. Obviously, as you've just heard me say, I'm opting for Tanqueray. So, double shot of gin in there. There we go. And then we add our lemon juice. It's about 25 mils of lemon juice in there. So a shot, if you're using a little shot measure, it's a lot easier. And then I've got 10 mils of golden syrup mixed in with five mils of water because golden syrup doesn't behave very well. Um, some recipes call for sugar syrup. The reason I use golden syrup is because it has molasses in it. It's like brown sugar in it. So it tastes good. Um, and I, I just, I really enjoy that taste. If you want to make your own sugar syrup, that's absolutely fine. I've said it before. Um, there we go. So we've got all those in. And then you want to add your mint leaves. I'm only adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's add 10. I've got a couple there as well, actually, though, so. I'm adding about 15, 16 mint leaves. I like mint, so it's, it's not going to be too bad. And then you want some root ginger. Don't use too much because obviously this is just to make the one drink. So what I would say is if you're going to slice it, a good slice, that much there. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to muddle the ingredients. Okay, so put everything in the bottom there. Take your muddler, I'm posh now, I've got a muddler. It looks like it should take batteries, shouldn't it? Um, <laughs> but it doesn't. So just give the ingredients a bit of a muddle. You don't have to go mad, it's mud. You don't have to go mad, it's not like the mojito video where I, were, um, I had to muddle for about three three days, didn't I? I had to speed it up. If you've watched the mojito video, if you haven't, give it a little, give it a little view. So muddle all that together. And this is a long drink, so it's going in a long glass. We're gonna opt for our little cristalios. So give that a good muddle, get all those flavors going. And then, just add a couple of cubes of ice, just to chill everything down. And then get your big on. Give it a little. And then of course you want to give it a shake. So there we go. Give it a really good shake, just to incorporate everything. And it will release all the flavor from the mint leaves and the ginger. You can feel it's all gone cold already. It's usually a good indication of what's going on. I did a workout earlier today and I'm absolutely knackered now. Oh God, we'll keep going. Do you know if our Fanny Craddock, someone on, some poor scared looking homosexual in a, in a shirt would come on and shake it for me. Leave it dear, I can do it. There we go. It's an easy one is this one as well. Um, Jack's told me I've got to bang it to get it off. That sounds ruder than it is. There we go. Because last time we had, we made a cocktail with this and 
it were like nails down a blackboard. <laughs> so just to get your glass, you want a few bits of ice in your glass. There we go. And then obviously don't be discouraged. You might get a few mint leaves in it, but that's absolutely fine. Sort of like when you get a mojito. Take your strainer, or if you're just using a normal cocktail shaker, that'll take most of it out for you. And then pour that through. You are gonna get little fragments of um, mint leaves, but that don't really bother me, so I hope it doesn't bother you. <laughs> there we go. And then, obviously, if you're making this in your kitchen, you'll probably have your ginger ale out of a bottle. I don't know if I'm trying to be fancy there, but just literally just top it up with the ginger ale. There we go. And then what I would do is just give it a little stir. Not a big stir though, because you don't want to lose any of that fizz. So you've got ginger, lime juice, gin, and mint. There we go. Just gonna give that a little wipe down. Because as usual, I've made a mess. I want a little fancy glass jug and then I can be all, you know. You never see Nigella with a cloth in her hand, do you? And then that's it. So that's that's my gin donkey. Um, I made it. I'll, in fact, I'll just tell you the story. Um, me and Jack were doing some filming round about New Year's and I was going to film a few cocktails but time had got so late I said do you know what I'll do this one another time so I had all the ingredients out and I thought do you know what I'll just make it and try it and I made it and oh, I really enjoyed it so anyway let's let's have a little taste oh that is lovely um, it reminds me of something I, I, I can't even tell you what it reminds me of it's just really, really refreshing. That's gonna be great in summer. Um, and if like me, you do enjoy ginger, um, not just gingers, uh, <laughs> those flavors, really, really, honestly, it's not too overpowering. It's just, it's really interesting to drink. You know, you get things that sometimes you just drink them because they're sweet, so it's nice, or because it tastes like that and it's nice. This is interesting to drink because the flavor profile is really good. Um, so yeah, I really like that. Um, give it a go as I always say give it a go let me know in the comments if you've had a go um, I'd say this is more a grown up one uh, can't wait to drink these in summer uh, but please get in touch if there's any other cocktails you want me to have a go with um, and and give it a go yeah definitely oh, can't wait to finish this and there you have it my gin donkey which is basically a gin mule but I've swapped the ginger beer for ginger ale because I don't like ginger beer because it tastes awful um, really refreshing, really tasty, and dead easy as well. Um, I hope you give it a go. Please let me know if you give it a go, and I will see you again soon. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to tell me in the comments what you'd like me to make for you next. Of course, if you want to see a little bit more, please click subscribe. Cheers!